what we're talking about is uh, several visualizations of the path of the moon's shadow during the eclipse in 2017. Everything in it is driven by the data. So the color of the ground, the position of the path of totality, the lighting from the sun, the sun angle, all of those are things that are based on data. A lot of NASA products were used to create this visualization. I used the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, the laser altimetry data from that, which gives us a digital map of the elevations on the moon. For the Earth, I used something called SRTM. This was a radar that was flown on the space shuttle. For the positions of the, the Earth, the moon, and the sun, I used a, a JPL ephemeris. An ephemeris is just a list of positions. Um, but it's the most it's the most accurate tabulation of those positions. This visualization is unique because it shows the effect of both the irregular edge of the moon, the limb of the moon we call it, and the elevation of the observer. Now we've known for a long time that the elevation of the observer affects where the shadow is. Uh, and we've also known that the mountains and the valleys along the edge of the moon affect the shadow. So you may have seen on, on eclipse maps in the past that the image of the umbra, the, that shape of the shadow on the Earth, is drawn as a smooth oval. But we know that the moon isn't smooth. Around the edge of the moon, we have these sort of jagged peaks and valleys. And a peak can block the sun a little bit earlier than you thought, and a valley can let the sun in a few seconds longer than you thought. The combined effect of these peaks and valleys is to create a shape that's not really an oval, it's more like a polygon but it hasn't actually been seen in, in exactly this way before, where we calculate those circumstances for every point on the map and draw that shape. Totality is that, is that two minutes when, the, or two and a half minutes when the moon completely covers the sun. The sudden darkness of totality is just something that a lot of people can't compare to anything else. I love the idea that I'm giving this kind of map to other people, and especially that it's more detailed and more accurate so that people are actually in the right place to see it.